inverted. Inverted. Ah, yeah, I know that. The left one is on the right side. The right one is on the left side. I hate it. Hello everybody and welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers Podcast. It's also a video. I'm Red. And I'm Talia. And today we're talking about something that we need to talk about, at least according to this article. We need to talk about Bajau Girl and, and friends. friends. You know, whether yes. they're actually friends, we don't know if you know that's actually mm -hmm. a thing. Maybe now, you know, they're they're all getting yeah. into their own modeling careers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you Models don't get together. Yeah, yeah, the, the modeling things, modeling stuff. If you don't want to read the article, we just linked to, we'll give you some context. There have been a couple of people who are of indigenous origins and they, they were photographed by random people and then their pictures were posted on Facebook and then they were discovered because they were astoundingly attractive, or at least conventionally so. So the first one was Carrot Man who was selling his carrots when someone took a photo and now it's Bajau Girl and people are trying to make gasoline man a thing. But yeah, there Sounds are like a, a bunch of superheroes. Yeah, like yeah. the way they're being branded, you know, yeah. there's gonna be a recruitment of <laughs> for shield, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, but Bajau Girl, Carrot Man, Gasoline Boy? Is it Gasoline Boy? Gasoline, or gasoline man? man. He hasn't really become a thing yet, I think. Okay. There, there, when do you become a thing? Past 1,000 shares? Or I'd say when you land the when modeling gig. When you get gig. the modeling gig. Okay. There's also, I, I, I remember something about some someone in a supermarket. I'm not quite sure I heard that. Anyway, the, like, you know, new, new things, because people mm -hmm. have cameras now. Yeah. Right? Everyone has Usually a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And you see someone attractive, you put it on your Instagram. And I don't know why, but you know, you yeah. don't know why. This might be the next big thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if these people had that intention. You know, this person is so attractive. Maybe several people actually That's took true. photos That's of the true. same people. I mean, in the case of uh, Bajau Girl, her mm -hmm. name is uh, Rita Gabiola. Yes, it is. And uh, in her case, I think it was a news article and she was uh, photographed carrying a, a baby. Mm -hmm. And several people commented on those articles saying, wow, yeah. this person is so attractive, mm -hmm. you know, and um, and fast forward several weeks. Yeah, something And like she that. has her first photo shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on Facebook if you're interested. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's not too hard to... I remember for that. She, she was discovered in the Pahiyas festival in Lokban, Quezon, and, mm. and she was there begging for money, and that's where she was photographed. She was carrying the child. She was carrying the child. child. In that, yeah. In and that yes, this is something we, we do see fairly often in Manila. There yeah. are, like the Bajau, they, they're going through a lot. A, a lot, like, you know, a lot of people, we, we don't really treat them as well as we do city folks. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes they have to come here and they don't find the job that they wanted to find and they have to resort to a lot of begging and we see this all the time but she was photographed and she just happens to be very very pretty and she had this heartfelt talk about how she wanted to to go to school and now she has a scholarship. So there's a yeah there's a story and people mm -hmm. like good stories people like Cinderella stories course, you know humble beginnings rags to riches and all that mm -hmm. and here's one. You know, like there are, from time to time, there would be these feel-good stories of how mm -hmm. someone like is, has fallen on hard times. It could be about a foreigner, you know, like mm -hmm. I've I yeah. read several about yeah. those. Um, I remember like, isn't some handsome actor, Filipino actor, that kind of story as well? Yeah, is it I think Piola so. Pascual or I, I, don't, I don't really know. I'm sorry if it's... Not. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, but it it's, some, it's some hunk mm -hmm. like that. And who, who was a beggar and then is now one famous actor. Jericho Rosales. I Jericho think. Rosales. I think it's yeah, maybe. Jericho. One of them. Yes. One of the, the very handsome yeah, guys. Yeah, carrying fish. Something like that. Something like that. So, mm -hmm. is it so different when it's, a, when it's an IP, you know, uh, as the article points out, that term is contested, mm -hmm. but for sake of convenience, we'll use it for now. Mm -hmm. You know, if, is it so different if it's Bajau Girl? Who, or Rita, who has this story? Like, is there some special significance? Because, like, people are or people are criticizing how we're using the lens of the elite or yes. the millennials or the Western or the you know that kind of consumerist gaze mm -hmm. to evaluate someone using our our standards of beauty 
and she passes yes. those standards yes. and now she has a modeling career. But for the rest of them who aren't as conventionally attractive, mm -hmm. no modeling career for no you. No chisel job. Right? So that's, the, that's one of the complaints. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what are the other negative things that you can see about this story? I feel like it, it sheds light on what they deal with. And sh yes, I understand that they, they go through a lot. They, they don't have the resources that they should be getting. But I, I wish that, that this brought on more action. More than just giving her a scholarship, I wish people would set up a fund or set up an initiative for the government to allot funds for the people who aren't as privileged as the people living in the cities. Because we, we do need scholarships for the people who can't get them simply because they live so far away. Yeah, yeah Simply yeah. because they don't have schools in their area that qualify for the scholarship program. So you're talking about the bigger issues surrounding uh, yeah. people like the Bajau yeah, and a lot or of people... Lumads or, you know, Igorots in general, yes. IP. The, the issue is, of course, they have their own cultures, they have their lands. And, and their language. And capitalists go there and rob them of yes. their lands, you know, yes. even kill them to displace them and, you know, get all of the resources. But they're not benefiting from all of the, the resources that are being taken yes. from their lands. And they're being forced, instead of benefiting from, from their property, mm -hmm. they're going to Manila and begging. Yes. You know, and that's the bigger issue here. And a lot of people are wishing that instead of focusing on someone because she's so pretty, maybe we should focus on the bigger issues yes. that these people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. But let's look at the positive of this, right? If Bajau Girl did not happen, like, would people be talking about the plight oh, of definitely not. the Bajau? No. Or the Lumads? Yeah. Or, and that's know? definitely a benefit. We do, it, it's really often that people forget. Even when, when the Lumad issue was, was at its peak in Manila, I didn't really hear a lot about it. Yeah. At, you know, from, from most of my groups, they, they didn't really discuss it. And and that's sad because a lot of people were suffering mm. and, and it's very easy to be just detached from the rest of the Philippines when you're living here and you're you're just drowning in your own problems. It's I, I understand it's very easy to forget that other people have possibly more difficult times than you, but yeah, it's great that she brings up this issue and now we're talking about it. Now we're talking about it and the people who wouldn't have heard of Bajau, even the word, I don't yeah. know how educated um, a lot of people are, you know, it's if true. they know about the plight of Lumads, of Igorots, and, mm -hmm. and all that. Now they are talking about it. And, you know, to get attention in this day and age of distraction, where there are so many things going on, like the NBA is going on, like news cycles are all yes. focusing on Duterte, yes. you know, and talking about whether they can even attend his, uh, his press conferences and so on, mm -hmm. you know, to, to or get... Or they'll even happen? Yeah, to get 15 seconds for your issue is a tough thing. Yes. And yes. I think that on the whole, mm -hmm. this is a net positive. Yes. You know, it, if it does reveal that some people care more about superficial things like beauty mm -hmm. and how you could use that for the interests of co capitalists and consumers, mm -hmm. you know, then, then that's kind of like a black light that Shannon reveals that the ugly stuff on the couch, you know, True. that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the issue was, <laughs> sorry for, yeah, <laughs> why has that metaphor stuck in my mind? You know, it's ugly, mm -hmm. you know, but it's already there. It's not like the, the, the act of featuring this beautiful Bajau girl and giving her a modeling career suddenly, you know, created this, this uh, consumerist problem that we are facing right yes. now. No. Like, it just shone a light on that. Mm -hmm. And also on the issue of the Bajaus in general, right? And that's expensive. You know, 15 seconds of fame, you know, marketing firms would pay millions to get Definitely. the kinds of exposure yes. that they got for free just because of, of this, right? Mm -hmm. And the issue now is, you know, that the exploitation. Are we giving up too much when, uh, when, we, when we play into the... the the tropes, the culture. I think we lose a lot when we focus on the things that we do focus on, mm. which which I think is really sad. But you know what? The Philippines has we've had its our, we've had our history of not really caring about history. So I don't know if it's if it's a BBM. cultural thing. <coughs> and also BBM. all of the all of the sites that that you know the excavations weren't finished yeah. before projects were done. Whatever. Yeah. We have a lot of we've we've done this a lot. We've ignored. The, the richness of our culture 
a lot. We've thrown it away, hoping to be the next Singapore, which I find deplorable. First, the next, uh, the next U.S. state that came oh, first. Oh, of course, I yes. Think, right. And yes, then, because people forget that Puerto Rico exists. Yeah. Then and then the next. Okay, Singapore, the next uh, pers uh, country with a benevolent dictator. Mm -hmm. I think hopes for that are really strong right now. Yeah, except Duterte said he'd burn their flag. We we already have that that culture ingrained in us, yeah. and we'll probably end up just stripping bare all of the, the cultures of the Philippines because there are so many. Mm. And as sad as that is, it looks like that might be the only way for us to bring all of these other underprivileged cultures into the fold. Like that's the only way we will probably achieve equality. So, you know, ideally people are just so nice that they recognize the plight of yeah. the, the more disadvantaged and they give them so much opportunities, you know, but yeah. we don't live in that wonderful world mm -hmm. right we live in the philippines you know we have a set of politicians running this country right now and we have um this culture of distraction where it's so hard for mm -hmm. people to notice issues yes. you know as advocates we know this uh, more than most so i'd like to think yeah yeah so for um, rita to get her time in the spotlight it's mm -hmm. a great opportunity for yes. advocates for the rights of indigenous people, you know, we have laws for this. We have the IPRA, we have the UN um, law equivalent for that, uh, for IP rights as well. Mm -hmm. You know, the advocates can, can talk about this. You know, people like the, the author of the article we link to, for yes. instance, he is complaining. Definitely. Right? But it is about this issue. It does raise controversy on this issue. And maybe the projects that you were mentioning earlier can be done more. You know, mm -hmm. like, like politicians need the mandate of the people yes, to, to spend time on, on those we projects. Just need, we just need the majority to care more about the minority. Yeah. And I think when we get that, maybe we'll shed more light on it, but I, I really do hope that, that our culture adapts to that mm. because I haven't seen a lot of it. Yeah. And, you know, she's an attractive person. Yes. Right? So I think um, another angle on this issue is that if she were you know, hired into a firm for being smart, for having invented something, mm -hmm. like, it would be a different story. Definitely. Like, it would be not, she, it, the issue wouldn't get as much criticism. It's because mm -hmm. there's this idea that it's superficial, mm -hmm. you know, it's beauty, and there is this anti-beauty bias yeah. Yeah. that's happening. I think it's, it's also the difference of beauty being a lot more inherent than, yeah. than academic achievement. Because a lot of People us... People think it. Yeah, a right? lot of us... Think that that if you work hard enough, if you if you put in enough hours studying, mm. that you'll you'll outdo the smartest person in class. If that person was born smarter than you, odds are you won't. Yeah, yeah. but the, I mean, genetics do play a part as yes, well. Yes, definitely. You know? Yeah, genetics yeah. affect um, mm -hmm. intelligence. You know, yeah. even hard working. Uh, yeah. how hard working you can become is something that can be affected by genetics, and mm -hmm. it is a lottery. But people Some don't people like are, believing that about academics. They want to believe that, no, uh, you were you all born as zero, and you will all, you know, progress no, but, at yeah, the same level. Yeah, that kind that's kind of thing. Not. Okay, but, but anyway, um, she is a talented person mm -hmm. in the sense that she's beautiful. I mean, beauty is a talent. Yes. And she right? can and she can model it. We've, we've seen her shots. She, uh -huh. she knows how to, to project herself. For a camera, so and, and that's a skill. So you know, it's it's an opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's um, it's something that she could use to to further her education, to mm -hmm. further her career, and, and to help her family. And I think for people to say that that she shouldn't buy into this kind of thing is mm -hmm. kind of, I think, selfish. I mean, Very. it reminds me of the, the the podcast we did on sex work. You know, like you're blocking off certain avenues for people to do what they want. Yes. You know, if if Rita does want to model, then by all means, we should we should let her model. Yes, and if Even, that's the opportunity know, she has right yeah. now, who are we to take that away? Yeah, who are we to judge? I think, um, of course, uh, while she's doing this, a lot of people with her similar background aren't as similarly blessed, mm -hmm. and they are still suffering. But And it's on her. I mean, she could help them. Yes. And also society can raise more awareness about this issue, mm -hmm. as we are yes. right now. By the way, she's, she's also very young. So she's about 13. It's, it's hard to ask her for so much. It's hard to yeah. ask her yeah. for the self-awareness of, of her position right now hmm. to, to really ask her to take advantage of it. Yeah. So I, I want to, to... We don't want to pressure her, you know, yeah. in an ideal world, she yeah. will be kind of like a malala on this issue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, to be that kind of advocate for women's yes. rights, for yeah. IP rights, and, yeah. and so on. 
But you know, if she does not, that's her right as well. That's Definitely. her prerogative as well. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to discuss this topic and many others, do attend our meetup. Details on that on our website, our social media sites, and on behalf of Talia, Garrick, Pepper Max Tin, and the Analyst Desk, and the millions of staff, see you next week. The safe word is... Sunstone. Okay, good. <laughs>